Hi, Stephen from Own at This Own. I was full of anticipation when I entered the AMD's room on the Tuesday. Now at their keynote, they informed us of the 7 nanometer Radeon 7 GPU with about a 30% performance increase, you know, bringing it into line with the RTX 2080. Now that would make it perfect for 17 inch laptops, especially with its less power requirements. Now, unfortunately, there was no mention of it in their room. So perhaps we might actually start to see some of those laptop designs with it at PAX. So here's what was on offer at the show. They showed off the 2018 MacBook Pro with the Radeon Pro 560X graphics that performs similarly to the GTX 1050. Next to it, they also showed the new Vega 20 MacBook Pro that performs the same as my Vega MGL in my XPS 15 2-in-1. Only one 17 inch was on show, and that was the Acer Predator Helios 500, a fine notebook which would be ideal for Radeon 7, and probably comparable to the RTX 2060, which is now available in a much smaller 15 inch laptop. The Helios 500 has very good cooling, and I'm looking forward to testing uh, you know, a GPU refresh in this one. On show was a bunch of smaller laptops. One such machine is the 14 inch Honor Magic Book that can be configured with an Intel 15 watt CPU and MX150 graphics or the, Vega, or the Ryzen 5 2500U with Vega 8 graphics, which is about 20% behind the NVIDIA option. It has a 57 watt hour battery, which gives about 12 hours uh, of battery life on the Intel model. The same configuration is available on the Acer Nitro 5, which retails for $670, but since the GTX 1050 Ti model sells for about $750, I don't see the benefit of this. Vega 8 is okay for 720p low settings compared to the 1080p medium settings on the 1050 Ti. Samsung had the Book 7 on display too. I haven't reviewed one of their laptops, but from what I've read, they have mixed reviews. Lenovo's contribution was the 14 inch Yoga 530 with Vega 3. Now AMD has announced their new 12 nanometer Zen Plus Ryzen 3000 mobile processors to take on the 15 watt uh, U and 35 watt H series Intel chips. Now these chips offer better performance, just as good as battery life and the Vega GPU, which is being about 80%, 80% faster than the previous gen. I was pleased to see Dell stepping up with their Inspiron 5014 2 and one with the Ryzen 7. 3700U and Vega 10, and a good amount of storage for such a small 2-in-1 laptop. Now this is good for 720p gaming. I would like to test this one out. They also showed off the Inspin 5015 with Ryzen 5 3500U and Vega 8, and an insane 32 gigs of RAM. Now this is a quad-core 8-thread machine and offers a great alternative to Intel's 15 watt CPUs with integrated graphics. Asus is also showing off their 15-inch uh, TUF Gaming FX505 with with the 4-core, 8-thread CPU that boosts the 3.7 GHz, so it's similar to an i7-7700HQ and RX 560X graphics, which is on par to the GTX 1050. This could be a decent budget gaming machine. So although it was disappointing that they didn't show us anything on the high end, at least they were, there were some decent options with the 3000 series to offer, which offers decent battery life and performance, especially when up against Intel's integrated graphics. I'd like to thank you for watching, you know, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe uh, so that uh, you can see more of my CES footage and uh, testing of the upcoming RTX laptops. Bye.